I think I might experience this in a different way than a lot of people simply because I'm keenly aware of the part that was played by the group of us back in 1957. So I think that in itself makes it a really special time for me. Hey, how's it going? Great. Good. Oh, I bet there are some neat photos I've never seen. I realized that things were going to change slowly, I think probably by the time I was able to read and write as a black person growing up in Little Rock, Arkansas. It was quite apparent to me that this society was so focused on maintaining the status quo that change was going to require probably the kinds of efforts that people would not be willing to put forth. It was going to require massive protest efforts. And we saw that in the 60s and the 70s. And I think change is coming, has come, and will come. Every time I'm here in front of the Supreme Court and look up that imposing building, this is a place where laws that affect all of us are, are passed. And the 1954 decision was so very important for me as a young person. I remember when it was passed, I was very hopeful that things were about to change. I quickly realized that change wouldn't happen so fast. But it was one step in the road toward justice and equality for all of us. And so being here today uh, helps me to remember that feeling, revisit those emotions, and think that now we're making yet another step with the uh, election of Barack Obama. <laughs> So today is a day we've anticipated, of course, and so the feelings are different. I mean, they're beginning to emerge. I'm sensing a, a real excitement that's growing, and it's the culmination of a lot of efforts on the part of many people over many centuries, really. Uh, section 15, yellow color. Mary, <laughs> when the train moves, the train moves. Right. After the inauguration address by President Obama, the members of our group, the Little Rock Nine, will no doubt feel very differently about themselves, their part that we played in this country, and about our future. And with eyes fixed on the horizon and God's grace upon us, we carried forth that great gift of freedom and delivered it safely to future generations. I think the speech was uh, excellent in the sense that it has as its major theme inclusion and, and that's what I've been thinking all along with uh, this man as our president. Taking America back. No doubt. Absolutely moved by those words. Why? Because they're so meaningful and so momentous in terms of what the future might hold for us. Excellent. I witness history, but I witness history.